In this video, I will be discussing the events of 9-11 as well as going into a channel of some of the people who crossed over on that day. If that would be disturbing to you, please be advised that maybe today is a day to skip. My love to each and every one of you. Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is our daily card reading for September 11th, 2021. Obviously today is the 20th anniversary of the horrific 9-11 attacks back in 2001. And I know this is going to be a day that's extraordinarily hard for many who were there, saw it, experienced it, um, who maybe lost loved ones, who later got sick from the recovery process of that. Um, just know that my love is right there going to you. You're in my thoughts. I'm with you. And I also want to pass along a message. I do not know what's going to happen. Um, of course, if anything, God forbid, should occur, I will be back on to make sure I'm talking to people. But if everything is just sort of where it is right now, as of the recording of this video, I want to pass along this message of turn on the heart light. <laughs> okay, it is that. It is ignite your heart space. There's a message here of being careful of reliving the tragedy over and over and over again. And I know that might be controversial for some of you. Uh, who say, you know, no, I'm still processing. If that is where you're at, of course. You know, there's no time limit on grief. But if you're off living your life and then all of a sudden, you know, it's, we all have to be grieving again. The heavy stuff. You know what I'm saying? You see what I'm getting at here? I'm not saying don't honor. I'm not saying forget. I'm not saying anything of the sort. I'm saying hold the light. Please hear me. Hold the light. That is the protection we need. That is the protection your loved ones on the other side need. So let's honor from the heart. Of course, with love. And again, if you're processing grief, of course, please make sure you have proper support during this time. But if you're one of those people that this isn't, this isn't going to be most people who are watching this video, but there are people out there who are in love with tragedy. They love talking about it. They love the dramatic story around it. Now, I understand sharing your story of that time. Any American you come across will, it takes nothing to get them to talk about this time. And they know exactly where they were. They could smell the air from that day. It's a trauma. But the people who are out there in love with tragedy and they just want to tell the story to like own that tragedy for themselves. I know this sounds weird. Hang with me. They're up to no good. They want you to be low. They want you to hurt. They're a puppet of a thought form. Not everybody's going to understand what I'm saying here. And that's okay. If the only takeaway you get here is that I love you and I'm with you, then that's it. That's good enough. But for those of you who are meant to hear the message of watch for the tragedy lovers, people who love drama, and that's what they're connecting to in this, light up your heart and drown that out. I'm, I'm literally seeing water, so I don't know if, I don't know. I see waves crashing too. I don't know if there's gonna be any weather coming up towards New York that day. But we can overcome the terrible things that happen 
through that portal to our soul. And I know a lot of people be like, oh my God, did she just say that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay, the heart space, a portal. Let's come at this with strength, courage, and love. And we remember, and again, we love, and we're stronger for it, we're wiser, and it's time we start recognizing the energy around it because we can stop it. We can stop more things from happening. You hear me talk about peace all the time. You hear me talk about love all the time. So why aren't we hooking into that? Why aren't we taking a different approach? Okay, let me get a card just because that's what we do here. I just had a card fall down, hold on one second. Okay. So the card that fell out is keep your eyes on the targeted intention. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me focus on my inner vision and intention. That's what I'm saying. When people are sort of um, falsely mourning, and then what are some of the people going to say? Your your energy is dark. You don't you know determine who feels what, when, why, and how. But I don't I don't mind that because the people who need to hear it, you hear me. You hear me. All right. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears or doubts, granting me the confidence and courage to take action toward realizing my dreams. So I feel like watch people's intentions. That's really, I mean, this could be a personal message for you uh, for today, but this is, uh, I see the word targeted. Careful, just be careful, okay? Targeted and then intention. What are people's intentions? Now, some of you, your mind went to, well, there's some evil intentions out there. Certainly, but uh, we can combat that with our pure intention. I lived in New York. I moved there in 2003, and when I lived there, I've told this story before, um, we referred to that area as the pit because it was still a pit. I'm not gonna go into detail about what was still happening there. But when a New Yorker would ask like, oh, did you just move here? Yeah, were you here on that day? I was not, I was in Los Angeles. Now Los Angeles had gone on lockdown as well because the history had not played out. We didn't know what was happening. All we knew there were still two planes up in the air heading for Los Angeles. One got diverted to Canada and one was Flight 93. Um, but when you come across a New Yorker and they start, you, know, you can tell. You can tell what real grief, mourning, trauma, you, you know, there's a difference there between somebody who's like, oh, I know. Oh, I was like in Northern Manhattan and Upper Manhattan and when I heard it, you know, it doesn't mean that they didn't feel anything. Let me make this clear. It's not like they weren't traumatized by it too. We're talking about an energy. What kind of energy are they putting into this? Is it drama? And like I said, like really fabricating the story around how close they were to it. And you feel me? A lot of you are gonna feel me. I'm probably gonna get a little bit of backlash about this uh, video, but if you hear me, you hear me, right? Lean on God and the angels for support. This is a big one for many of us today. Uh, dear God and angels, I give you this uh, situation, and let's say today the 9-11 situation, uh, now and completely. I step out of the way and allow divine miracles to shine through everyone and everything involved. All right, so again, people who are reliving this, they're saying reliving it in honor of your loved ones who crossed over or were even mentally affected by that. You do them no honor by reliving the tragedy. You do them no honor by reliving the tragedy. Celebrate them, celebrate their life. 
not that you're celebrating, right? It's not, it's not a celebration. It's um, a memorial. But that is definitely a big message that is coming through. You don't need to hang on to the tragedy to hang on to your loved one. You don't have to hang on to the, you don't need to torture yourself with this. They're helping from the other side. <laughs> oh. Hold on. <laughs> what is this? We've, we've kept a watchful eye. And I'm not just talking about the heroes who crossed over, whether it was on that day or as a result of helping. Um, it's not just the heroes. It's everybody that day. Because there was something really profound in, obviously, really profound in that experience for them. Okay? Um, and I'm not talking about the awful part of it. I'm talking, like, I don't know. There's like this, like, human way of putting it, this army of warriors on the other side. Who were there that day in human form. And now they are no longer in human form. That's how it's being put to me. Okay? And they stand guard. So they're not trapped. This is so fascinating. Oh my God, sorry, sorry. This is, uh, I'll put a trigger warning at the at the front of this. Um, it's not like they're trapped. It's just they know when to show up. And they have been elevated because of this. I feel them, I feel them and they're happy. We come back every year. <laughs> we come back. It's not to celebrate the end. They're always keeping watch. I want to be careful with this because I don't want to. I don't want to sound so woo woo that it could cause harm to somebody. I, that's not my intention. But there is a feeling here that they had a very specific mission here as, uh, as humans. And although this event, it was not in their, uh, no, not to go out like this, not so contract stuff. This was a free will being put over another free will. But we made the most of it. When we figured out what was happening, we said, no. What do we need to do? Well, we as souls need to detoxify or uh, cleanse, go through a process of cleansing. And then we got ready. They elevated and we're ready now so they come back and come close to comfort the mourners which is fine if that's what you need but they're like on guard they're guardians now we want to be careful with this it's not like they became guardian angels that's a different thing Angels are made of different stuffs, okay? <laughs> God can transmute and all that stuff, but I don't think it happens that often. Last I heard. What do I know? Um, we want to be careful with spirit guides. Not necessarily, They're not really spirit guides. It's really weird because I kind of, my whole Metronio book is all around <laughs> this kind of thing. It's kind of weird that it's coming up. Um, they're not exactly spirit guides. I, I don't know how to put I'm so sorry. I don't know how to put this into words. So they've crossed over. They've done a, a, a reboot. They're, you guys are funny. They're calling it a reboot. <laughs> um, and we stand guard. And if we can get people to listen to us, it doesn't have to happen again. So watch for messages. Definitely watch for messages. I'm feeling very strongly that they come back. So that's part of the thing that actually is a positive about coming together and doing the memorial and, and all of that is that where everybody gathers with a similar intention, that makes it easier for them to come in. Okay, so they'll be there. They, they will be in attendance no matter what happens. No matter what happens, they will be in attendance. And I just feel this sense of like guarding and I want to make it clear, it's firefighters, it's, you know, police officers, it's all the emergency personnel people that crossed over. It's all of them and the others. So it's almost like 
everybody kind of evened out and kind of figured out what to do, <laughs> right? I don't know what that means exactly, but um, lean on God, lean on God, like it says here, lean on God and, and angels for support. Um, but that was kind of weird that we just opened that portal and they came in and they're like, we've been here. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Again, they're not trapped. They really want to drive that home. They are not trapped. They really had, they were like stunned and they had to process what had just happened. And then they went through a process of processing why it happened. I don't know how else to put it. Okay. They're, they're sort of like angel helpers. Um, I can literally feel somebody like stroking my hair, like, like comforting me. Because these messages are tough and I don't want to put anything out there that's going to upset somebody. That's not the intention whatsoever. But I'm a medium. Okay. So that's what we do. Anything else? <laughs> All right. So that should be good enough. Let that be a comfort to your heart. Like that I, I don't like I didn't know anybody who was directly affected by that. But um well, I guess I did once I moved to New York. I knew people, but um they really want that to land for people out there. They're not far away. They're not far away. We came together. And it's just another level of protection. So some of you, this is not going to, like if you knew of a firefighter, for example, um, who crossed over that day, I, I'm sure it's no surprise to you that they still have that protector soul energy. It's how they're built. Um, and watching over. And please understand, this is not like, again, some woo-woo, oh, let's just twist this little thing. No, please, honey. I, I trust my abilities. I've been at this a while. <laughs> and as I'm doing this message, I could feel it coming through. Um, and I think I've always been afraid to just kind of go out on a limb and put that in a video, um, again, for fear that it would be upsetting, but I could put a trigger warning at the beginning. I just feel so cared for right now and they don't want anybody being sad. I see a very, <laughs> I, can I call you gruff? I don't, I see kind of a gruff guy. He was a firefighter. Um, he's an older, older than me. Got pudgy, rosy cheeks. Says he's Irish. And some other stuff. <laughs> you know us Americans. We're not just one straight bloodline. Um, okay, sorry. Come on back in. Sorry. <laughs> I started to get a little freaked out. And I just disconnected. Let me go back in. Tell them it's all right. Like we worked on this. We see you every year. You get so sad. We're not sad. We're doing our purpose. I don't know why we got to do it, but we do. He's doing this. He's going, listen to this girl. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> listen to this girl. Keep love in your heart. And if you're sad, okay. Honor your real feelings. But they're doing better than any of us. <laughs> and they are so full of purpose. Their souls are so lit up. A couple of them are still in the place of processing because they don't want to let go. But some of them are being drained by people who, I don't, I, I, they're kind of far away. They're staying far away from me. But it feels like they are very attached. To, they're not lost souls or anything like that. But it feels like someone else is, um, I hear constant mourning and constant, constant grief keeps them attached. So... Bear that in mind. Okay, we good? All right. Love to everybody. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope this wasn't triggering for anybody. Um, hopefully, 
The intention is for it to be healing and to be eye-opening. And we're going to leave it there. As always, I'm sending you all so much love and take care.